the targets are only providers of general purpose AI models. And that will become or is now a technical term, which is also defined in the AI Act in the long list of definitions. And it is very important to understand that the specific copyright obligations, on which we will say a little bit more in a minute, uh, only are only addressed to these general purpose model providers. So it would be, in my understanding, open AI um, providing, developing, and uh, also putting on the market the GPT, the, um, the transformers, right? The generative pre-trained transformers. That would be a model upon which AI systems are then built, for example, jet chatbots or other AI systems, but the, the copyright obligations are only addressed to the model providers. And the model, in my understanding, underlies the systems that are then built upon it. Uh, various systems, systems to generate text or pictures or videos or what have you. But the providers of these systems, which eventually create the output, are not subject to the specific uh, copyright obligations. Instead, it's only, in a way, the, the model providers. Uh, and that can only be explained, in my view, also uh, through the history of, of the emergence of the AI Act, which was um, very dynamic, um, influenced by the emergence of ChatGBT and other AI models and systems. Uh, and the EU legislature said, uh, we focus on the models because they are the very um, basis of all the systems and if we target them uh, so the very basic level then we make sure that any kind of system generative ai will be copyright compliant uh, um, but uh, obviously uh, this might also create challenges which i might address in a second when we come to the obligations in question